forgot the paddle. <laughs> How do you and your dog try paddle boarding without any experience? Roughwear employees and first time suppers, Brad and Julie, volunteered to find out by giving it a go with their dogs, Umi and Bo. I'm Brad and this is Umi. Usually when we go out and play, we're running. So she's used to being on the trail, not much of a water dog. I'm a little bit nervous about going in the water. <laughs> and off a rock. <laughs> Boo! Okay? I'm totally fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julie and this is my dog, Bo. He is a happy and naughty little paddle dog. I wanted to volunteer for this basically to try something new. I haven't really stand up paddle boarded much. I've surfed a bit. Um, I've always thought it would be cool to try it with a dog and I think Umi will be good at it, hopefully. Bill really loves the water and he's also not so sure of other dogs and so I thought it might be something that he could do as a solitary dog adventure um, to get out there and play. To set them up for success, we connected them with our go-to person for all things supping with pups, Roughwear Ambassador Maria Schultz. Hi Brad, hi Julie, nice to meet you. I'm Maria, I am one of your ambassadors, you already know that. Uh, I'm a stand-up paddleboard instructor and a dog trainer, and uh, this is one of my favorite things to talk about, so I'm really excited to introduce you guys to stand-up paddleboarding. I get on the board first, and I'm gonna do this in the kneeling position, and I'm gonna invite my dog to join me. Oh, do you have one? Yes, and he's gonna get a treat the moment all four paws are on the back of that board. So we're just gonna do sit stays and down stays. I just wanna say stay and be able to walk away from the board. And you just wanna build up that stay command. Free. Oh, that's a good job. So once once you like get the place and the release and the stay down, like do you wanna start adding in any sort of like external distractions. So the other two distractions in part two of the land-based training is to introduce the life jacket and the paddle, right? And that paddle's gonna be moving across their head. So we want to make sure that they're okay with that before we bring up, bring them to the water. Yeah, I hadn't thought about the paddle. My little guy, Bo, he likes to herd everything. So brooms, rakes, oh. all the yard work tools, he likes to herd them, so <laughs> <laughs> I think it could be an experience. Brad, Julie, it was wonderful getting to um, share my knowledge with you guys. Good luck on your first day. I'm excited to hear how it goes. Thanks, Maria. That was really awesome. I can't wait to get out there and give it a try. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was nice to meet you. We'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. After making good progress at home with some dry land training, Brad and Umi and Julie and Bo were ready to head to the water. Before setting out, Maria had a few final tips for their first day on the water. Pressing play. Hey everyone, I am super excited for you guys. First day on the water with your dogs. It's gonna be awesome. The first tip that I have is remember to stay in the kneeling position. Staying in the kneeling position allows you to be closer to your dog that's a little bit more reassuring to them. Don't feel pressure to stand on your first day. Your second tip is play. I always have water toys in my car and I make a point to play with them, wear them out a bit before we go out on the water. I hope you guys have a great, great first outing. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. What are your expectations? My expectations are to be in the water at some point. <laughs> and I'm fully okay with that. I'm, I'm not, not going in with any sort of expectation of standing up or even paddling, so. I have some fun hopes for Bo for today for our first time on the water. I'm hoping that we can get on the board in the water and paddle around a little bit, even if it's not for very long. I'm hoping that we just have a good time and he leaves the day feeling happy and excited. I love paddling with my dogs. I love sharing what I've learned over the last 10 years with other people. I want more people to get out there on the water. 
There's something very, very special and calming about being on the water. I find myself just drawn to it. And then when we add the simple, uncomplicated companionship of a dog, combining those two things become this magical experience. I thought that was awesome. I am really proud of Bo. That went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go for our first time out. Um, I think he did a really good job and he was really paying attention. Uh, it went great, way better than I thought it would. We got on and the wind just immediately started taking us and then we were off. I noticed that he started to become a little more confident on the board and slowly introducing him to getting on the board with it halfway in the water, I think helped him to understand that he could be safe and secure on the board. Um, and the treats really helped too. Now that I know that she is pretty good with it, I think we're gonna try to just send it next time. I think that having this experience, doing something for the first time with Bo, was really awesome and super rewarding. And I can say for sure that I would recommend that other people go out and try things with their dogs that they haven't tried before. I'd say if you want to try it, go for it. I honestly wasn't expecting her to even get on the paddleboard and she was on for a solid like 10 plus minutes and did great, so you never know. Head over to roughwear.com for tips, guides, and inspiration to get you and your dog on board for a summer of SUP fun.